Hi, I'm Janet Perlman, and I'm making a film called Missy a Pug. You gotta listen to me very carefully, because I know most of you are carrying a cell phone, and this is important. Do not use it. Just turn it off. Put it away. No, no, better yet. Just, just get rid of it. It's a story of a pug dog, and he is uh, very paranoid, and he believes that the world is going to be taken over by cell phones or by smartphones. I like to get out, breathe the air and stuff. But the leash is, uh, I can't stand being controlled like that. It's all about control. It always causes problems. Look, I do what I have to do, whatever it takes, but I don't trust cookies. You just never know, they might contain microchips. I've made about, well, if you don't count the short 30 second ones, because I did a lot of series of public service announcements, then I did about seven films, I guess. It's about, I think this is maybe my seventh film here of mm -hmm. a short, uh, theatrical short, and I've done quite a lot, and it's uh, really over the past several decades, mm -hmm. so it's, I haven't always been working here, but maybe about half of my working mm -hmm. life has been here. Now I generally work exclusively in the computer, and I have for the past four films or something. Anyways, for the past ten years, let's say. Mm. So I, I, you know, I might use a different program for different projects. It just allows me to experiment more and have more flexibility in terms of the look of it, and not be locked into things, you know, until the very end of the film. So I like, I like working the computer, and I've been using um, Toon Boom Harmony. That was a natural progression because I originally started with Toon Boom Studio and that was, it's not really the same program at all, but still it's a vector-based program and I like that. But I also have, I'm always looking to the next project and I hope to use TV Paint, which is totally different mm -hmm. and which um, uh, I think to some extent the software does shape a bit what you end up mm -hmm. creating. Uh, just because of what's easy and what's natural to do in the software. And so um, I'm sh TV Paint being so different, I think it would be really nice. And I used to work with Amigas a long time ago, and TV Paint reminds me of a <laughs> program I used in the Amiga, which um, it's very... Anyways, it just seems like it's got a lot of wonderful brushes that I'm dying to try. This pug is made of real pug dog fur texture. And um, I'm using these texture fills, and I'm using real eyes. And this here, this was, this is where he's doing origami. I need to calm myself. So for that, I have origami. That's right, origami. Just the paper sound. It, it relaxes me, keeps me focused. And so I, I did do the origami and photograph it and cut it out. So he's. And so the backgrounds also incorporate some photographic elements, mm -hmm. but it's it's definitely, there's an outline around everything, it's definitely cartoon drawing, yeah. really. It's a little bit finicky because the texture, you want it to follow the animation. Um, I found at first I was very concerned with the texture moving in a way I didn't want to inside of the animated shape, and then I kind of relaxed with it a bit, and although it has to be fussed with a little bit, it actually, when you just see the whole thing going, you don't really stare at that like I, I You know, there's a tendency when you're animating things to stare at little tiny details and say, gee, I don't know if I like how that little thing is going like this. But um, eventually you kind of relax and figure, well, if anybody's watching that, you're in trouble, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I guess it's satisfying either if it has a lot of success or it's being used extensively or it just really um, entertains in, or in some way. I guess uh, The Tender Tale of Cinderella Penguin, that was really a film that I just totally wanted to do and, mm -hmm. and it was nominated for an Academy Award so that was um, good. Other films I've done, Dinner for Two and Bully Dance were both to be used in teaching conflict resolution but also be entertaining films at the same time. That's been very gratifying because they've really, really had a lot of wide distribution that have been used extensively in schools, and at least in Canada anyways, it's been used extensively. I've done lots of films with absolutely no message whatsoever, but if there is a message, I think that's a plus. And um, 
uh, something that you want to say, not something that someone else wants to say. That's more of a plus. Mm -hmm. And then if it's an entertaining film and creatively what you want to do, that's it. So I hope this is that. Mm -hmm. I hope this is all that, those things.